Welcome back to Papa's Home. I've been gardening for about two years now. To be honest, I'm not super good at it yet. But I've picked up a few helpful tips for the absolute beginner. So if you're on the fence about starting a garden, and you think that it might be too much work, this video might be a great place to start. So if you think this video is helpful, make sure to hit like and subscribe. I'm trying to hit 1,000 subscribers, and every single one counts. It would also be helpful if you could share this video. With that, let's go ahead and jump in. My first recommendation is to start small. There's no need to overhaul the entire backyard. Instead, you may want to start by just building one garden bed. And even if that seems intimidating, maybe you just start with one plant. Here's what my first garden bed looked like. I originally built this just to see if I even liked gardening. So once I mastered the basics, I abandoned my original bed and built four new ones. As I get better, my garden might become even bigger. So this is why I recommend starting small, because it's a lot easier to manage a small garden, especially if you're just a beginner. My next recommendation is to grow something that you like. In my first garden bed, I grew a lot of corn. Don't get me wrong, I like corn, but I grew so much of it that a lot of it ended up going bad and I had to throw quite a bit away. So I recommend growing something that you might use a lot. For example, if you make a lot of pasta, you may want to grow oregano. It's a really easy plant to grow and you may find that you use it a lot. I think watering your plants is the most tedious part. If you're just starting out, you should try to connect your garden bed to your sprinkler system or connect it to your garden hose with a timer. There's some really basic systems out there and they don't cost a whole lot, but if you can automate your watering schedule, then you're going to make things a lot easier on yourself. This next piece of advice might be a little bit difficult to think about. Embracing failure is an important part of gardening. You're going to find yourself spending money on plants and supplies. And it can be very frustrating if your plant dies or doesn't produce anything. And that's okay. Failure is normal. And if it doesn't work out, figure out what went wrong and try it again next season. Just like any hobby, you're going to end up spending a fair amount of money. So be prepared to lose money. You're likely not going to break even and you're definitely not going to turn a profit. Especially if you're just a beginner. My last tip is to get some help. There's plenty of free resources online and tons of YouTube channels about gardening. One of the first things I learned is that there's the gardening I want to do and the gardening that I don't. For example, I don't have a truck or a very large car. So when it's time to change out the garden bed, I partner with my local gardening service and have them deliver all the soil, change out the garden beds, and get everything ready for the next season. Once everything's all planted, that's when I take over. So that's pretty much all my advice for the absolute beginner. If you like this channel, make sure to like and subscribe. Make sure to share it and post it on social media as well. I picked up gardening so that I would learn new skills, eat healthier, and overall it's become a new talking piece when people come over. And if you're still intimidated by gardening, feel free to keep watching my channel. There's plenty of things that I've grown that have been a complete failure and it's a lot cheaper to learn from my mistakes. So I hope that these gardening tips were useful. And if you want to see more videos like these, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for stopping by.